today I'm going to share the recipe for this fruit based soup made from apple and pear. So first we're going to prepare this white snow fungus by soaking it in water. Then we have again some dried tangerine peels, glazed dates, a few kernels of apricot kernels, and corn on the cob. First we're going to pour boiling water onto the sugared dates and the dry tangerine peel to soften and wash them. Then we're going to wash the apple, pear, and the corn as well. The snow fungus comes in a dried form, so we have to reconstitute it in water. After soaking it in water for about 15 to 30 minutes, it expands to this size. We want to discard the middle part, the darker orange part, so I'm just cutting that out and discarding that. And after that, we're going to cut the uh, fungus into smaller pieces for easier cooking. And we're going to wash it a couple of times in water as well before draining it. Snow fungus contains a lot of plant collagen and helps with maintaining healthy skin. It also releases a gelatinous texture into the soup after cooking. It is also high in fiber and low in fat. So it is a very popular ingredient for adding into soups or dessert soups. Wash the candy dates under running water for about a minute. This helps to get rid of the added sulfites and the odor. A disclaimer about the apricot kernel, it is optional and does contain trace amounts of cyanide so limit the consumption to just 3 or 4 kernels a day and do not consume it often. After the dry tangerine peel has softened in boiling water, we can scrape off the inner rind, which is the bitter part. Then we will prepare the fruits by peeling the pears, but we can keep the peel on the apples and removing the core and then cutting them into chunks. Then we're going to put all the ingredients into our trusty instant pot. Add about a liter to a liter and a half of water and cook on high pressure for about 20 minutes. Then we would let the pressure release naturally. And you can enjoy this soup two ways. If you want to make this a sweet dessert soup, then you can add sugar. Usually I uh, use rock sugar uh, before serving. Otherwise, if you want to enjoy this as a savory soup, then just add a pinch of salt before serving. And there you have it, a very simple, easy peasy, fruit-based soup with lots of collagen. I hope you enjoy this. See you later.